learning on the job. Is it going to get you fired or are you going to be promoted? Well, let's talk about that in this video. Hello, welcome to Resell Coder, where you are getting prepared for real app development by building better, faster, more stable apps and also getting information like this one. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to grow your coding skills. So what do I mean by learning on the job? Well, you got an offer, you accepted that offer, you thought that you know everything, but of course app development is kind of in uh, the realm of that you cannot ever know everything, but you thought that you know just enough to get the job done. But then you realize that, uh, well, you have to learn something and probably you are going to start learning on the job because you do not necessarily want to learn outside of your job because you have other things to do as well. You cannot just constantly be programming. So you have to fit your learning into the time as you are working for your client or as you are working in your regular nine to five job. So is that something which is problematic or is it something which is completely cool and normal? Well, you have to realize that app development, as I said, is a bit different or any kind of a software development in general is different than uh, other jobs. That's because app development is evolving in such a fast rate that it's completely impossible to keep up with it and to know everything which is going on in the app development world, to know about all of the kinds of libraries which are possible to use, to know about the updates to those libraries and to know even about all of the programming concepts. If you are working in a team, one coder can uh, code something up and you are not going to understand that because you've never seen some design pattern like that ever before in your life. So you are going to have to learn how to use that piece of code which someone else wrote. So really you will have to learn, but is it okay to learn on your job and not at your own dime, on your own time? I think that learning on the job will make you feel incompetent unless you know about the stuff that I'm talking about because you will think that, oh, I'm not good enough. You will have that imposter syndrome and that's just no good because you have to realize that you have to absolutely learn on the job and here is why. You should always be learning on a per task basis. You should not learn everything. You should not learn all about Flutter in one go. You should not read that huge book in one sitting. You should not do any of that stuff because you are going to forget about it anyway. You should always learn on a per task basis. And I'm not advocating that you start learning only once you get the job. You should know most of the stuff. You should know your basics. Once you get the basics right, you get almost everything else right. But there are still going to be some points in your app development journey in every single project which are going to require that you learn new things. And going from the premise of learning on a per task basis means that you should also learn on a per task basis as you receive those tasks which you need to implement at your job or when you are working with a client. Because think about it, you will have to learn it anyway. And it's something which you need to learn for the job. And it's something new which you have never seen before. But you're a competent developer. You didn't slack off when you were applying for those jobs. You actually knew that you are a capable developer and the client probably knew also that you are capable. But then something pops up. So you are not an imposter, you are not incompetent, you are competent, you are just not yet, not yet skilled in that particular area which you need to master in order to be able to implement that particular feature of the app. So learning on the per task basis means that you should absolutely learn on the job. You should absolutely do that because it's something which needs to be done to make that app happen, to bring that app to life, which you are currently building. So just like you are implementing some code, you are writing tests, you are doing whatever you are doing as you are developing an app, 
learning to make something happen so that you can implement some new feature is absolutely on par with all of the other things which you are doing while you are developing an app and you are getting paid to develop that app for a client or at your job. Still, you have to learn before you apply for a job. You absolutely have to have a knowledge. I'm not advocating that you start applying for jobs and you do not know anything about that. You start applying for React and you are only doing native Android development. Even that is not something which I would recommend. Brush up on React, brush up on Flutter, learn Flutter even from my tutorials and only then apply for Flutter jobs. But of course you are not going to know everything. But still, if you have that broad knowledge first, that what you should be learning outside of your job, broad knowledge, and really you have to know where to search for your, the answers which you need to get. And once you have that broad knowledge and you apply, and then you need to learn something as you are implementing some new feature of the app, then you do not have to feel incompetent, really don't, because everybody has to learn something new as they are going with their projects, but just take it as, oh, that's the fact of life. I just have to learn new things as I go and uh, don't really feel incompetent, don't feel sorry for the client, don't do anything like that for having to learn uh, as they are paying you for your time because uh, that's just how it is. Of course, do not overdo it, know your stuff before applying, but if something really exotic comes up, if some new code uh, pops up, you should learn on the job, definitely, because that's your job. Your job is to build great apps and you cannot build great apps without learning. If this video helped you, give it a like and also share it with our developers who will surely benefit from it too. And also really hit the like button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you do not know already, there is an amazing Flutter conference taking place in Warsaw, Poland. I will be there, people from Google will be there and it will be packed with awesome talks. It will be a two-day conference. So if you want to learn more about it, go to flutter-europe.dev and link is also in the video description. If you want to get curated list of Flutter news and resources, go to flutter.education. Over there you can find the really curated list of news picked by me. And also over there you can subscribe to my mailing list to get those Flutter news and resources delivered weekly right into your inbox. So go to flutter.education, link to it is also in the video description. Leave a comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you in the next video.